The famous Thousand Island Lake in Hong Kong refers to this view of Tai Lam Chung Reservoir in Yun Long. It is located in the Tai Lam Country Park, which is also where Tai Tong Sweet Gum Woods is, with the red leaves galore between late November to early January. You can combine the two together for a great little day trip. Good morning. Today we have drove to Yun Long, an area Tai Tong famous for their leaves. So it is actually past the season when the leaves are the most beautiful. So we'll see if they're still there. And then we're going to go to the famous Thousand Island Lake. Well, it's a reservoir, but yeah, like blue. The bus K66 takes you to the village near the country park, and it takes around 20 minutes to walk up. The road to the sweet gum wood is tarmac, so very beginner friendly and family friendly. Just watch out for the cars. We are still on our way in, so it says 15 minutes, and then we saw another sign that also says 15 minutes. So I think it's been more than 15 minutes for sure. Um, we saw a few trees that still have some leaves left, but most of them are gone. Sad. In total, it took around 20 to 30 minutes to get to Sweet Gum Woods. So this is known as the Sweet Gum Road. I hear um, there are still some leaves, although you kind of have to like really anger yourself well to get a good photo. So we are going to see if there's any more photos down the road. If not, we'll just turn back and then get started on the Dawson Island. The best red leaves are further down the road, with quite a few clusters of trees by the pavilion and also some around the bend. So this is kind of the end of all the red leaves. It just sort of slopes down. So we're going to go all the way back so that we can go to the Thousand Island. The trail is also popular for cyclists, so do watch out for them. Make your way back to the triple junction to go back out or carry on. So we came from that route and then we went down that route to see the leaves. And now we're going to this way, to the Thousand Island. The first part of the trail is still nice and paved with a trail by the bridge that goes down to the reservoir. We've reached the end of the concrete path. There, finally. So here's a nice little signpost telling us we need to go up these stairs. I do believe this is also part of the Mavacleepals or the Wilson Trail. I'll find out and put it here. The stairs are well paved, and we did have to go up quite a bit. So there is a temple here for Pak Gong. I'm not sure who he is again, but I'm going to put it here. I'm going to tell you in a bit. Now, so, so far it seems pretty easy, unlike what the sign suggested. I don't think this is going to take us an hour and a half. I think we needed that. I would still suggest wearing good shoes because the trail is very wetted and we saw a glimpse of Shenzhen in the distance as well. It's not very far once you walked underneath the transformers, only one more flight of big stairs before you reach the trail up. So the wonderful sign point is upwards to the viewpoint. So that's pretty cool, I think we're nearly there. The viewpoint is just at the very end of this offshoot. So it took us about 40 minutes to reach from the branch where the red leaf gum, sweet gum row is to go here. So really beautiful, but I personally think Tai Chun Shan in Sai Gong is better. I'm going to leave the lake here. So let me know what you think, if you think here is prettier or there. The Tai Lam Chung Reservoir is the first reservoir built after World War II and finished in the 50s. The hills inside the flooded dam form these islands we see today, which is what made it so famous. There are a few benches for you to sit on if you need a break. We just got some photos and started making our way back out. We are now back on the concrete road, but not quite on the sweet gum road yet, and it's been 20 minutes. So all in all, I think pretty good. Although I twisted my knee and it's still hurting from my last hike, sad. We were there quite early, so it was just before noon when we headed out, and there are a lot more people coming in now. So we are almost back at the car park, and it actually took us about 15 minutes now to reach where we are. So I assume this from the car park area to where the um, Dawson Island is, is actually about an hour's journey. 
Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this hike. We did drive here, so I'm gonna leave some information in the link down below about how to get here via public transport. And I'll uh, stay tuned for more hiking vlogs. I kind of forgot that the trail is pretty hilly and here's where the bathroom is near the start of the hike. I didn't think that was the stairs we were going to go up. She said that we're just going to go around. I'm like, we can. This is the stairs.